Okay, so I am going to see if I can fill in these gaps. Uh, I'm using just little paint sticks. Here's, let me grab this one. So you can kind of see right there is the thickness. And so if I start coming down this way, the gap starts opening up. So if I make a temporary stick like that, stick it in there, and then tape it to this edge here, and then I can come in and put in the, the bond throughout there while it's holding there, and that way it can bring out the, the hood a little bit. And then I can sand down the hood to make it nice and smooth, and that way I won't have such a huge gap. I think that's going to be the best way to go at this um, especially for down here now if you look going this way going this way the gap stays all about the same of course the hood's not all the way down but so my gap looks pretty good going that way and it's a little bit thicker so I might just leave it alone but I can definitely close this gap. This thing is huge, especially right through here. And then this gap is really close too, going all the way up when it's closed. So, cause I want, I need to have this gap going as close as I can along with these ones. Kind of makes sense. So, yeah, so what I need to do open up the hood and uh, get this kind of set in there taped down against this and open up open close open and close the hood to make sure it fits so like this one I can kind of see like right there is where my my stick is gonna have to be for I can get that you know or right where that little chip is and then that way I can start bringing out the gap a little bit Kind of makes sense. Well, you're gonna see me try to do it and see if this can see if this is gonna work. And I think I can do the same with the headlights. But with the headlights, I need to do it in reverse. I need to do it with these because these have, you know, the shape, and I need to shape it up to match more the the headlight. So yeah, let me let me kind of mess around with that. And uh, we'll go from there and see see what we need to do. Okay, so that's probably going to work. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking two sticks using this aluminum foil tape. And I bend it like that, and that's going to be my inner channel. So I can tuck it underneath there. And then I put tape on the back to hold it to where I have that 90 degree angle. So I'm going to put a little bit of that this, uh, tape here to hold it in the back to get that 90 degree. And then I just stuff it down in. Inside like that. <clears throat> and then I tape it just like this. Pulling towards this body. And so then that way you can see, especially like right here, it'll straighten out my hood too. And, uh, yeah, so you can kind of see the gap. So that one, that one goes down a little deeper in that because of the stick kind of fell. But that's all right. We, it's, it can, it's all sandable. But we're going to get our initial, you know, straightness there. And then once it gets up to here, should be fairly close. And this is the gauge I'm going to go by on the front. Once I go along the side here, uh, like I said, it's this one's this one's pretty even and straight all the way up. So I just might leave it alone. I'm just trying to get this huge gap. I mean, look at this. My finger can go in there. My pinky finger. And that's that's huge. So, but if you look at this gap, it's a little thin right here. But then it kind of it gets a little bit wider 
up top here and if we can if we need to fix this we'll fix it but I'm gonna get this section here first I'm gonna put that cowl kind of set it back on and see exactly where my gap is because I can probably fix this side a little bit along the hood you know because I can see it it's a little bit thicker there uh, like I said we're, we're just experimenting playing with it I'm gonna do this hood first or the, the front of the hood first, and then we'll go from there. Uh, that bond is going to take 24 hours to dry. So it's not like it's, you know, and it's not like it's going to be a big hurry trying to get it on. And you don't want to, I don't want to use the Bondo and stuff like that because it has the chances of chipping. Plus, it's, Bondo is really, really hard to get down in there because it's thick. Yeah. You know, but that, that bond I've been using for the panels and that, it hardens. I mean, it, it it becomes super hard, just like fiberglass resin. And it'll work just fine. Especially for these edges. And, um, yeah. So, we'll, we'll mess around and see. Um, I still gotta do a little bit of work going up this way anyway. And I can tell just by, I don't know if you can see it it doesn't really show on the camera but it's the hood because it's it's an aftermarket hood it has those little bends especially at the very tip here you can kind of see uh, maybe a little bit but anyway it comes in just a little bit right here and then whatnot so so the body is straight as I can I can get it plus I want to kind of sand down or build this up a little bit first and then get that hood to where I want it and get it nice and smooth and then for the headlights the sticks fit right underneath there and I can put them all the way around and then that way you know I could just put them then I could just stand the sticks up going this way and that should give me my edge pretty cool okay glad that uh, I'll turn out now. See, this one's going to be pretty good. There's my stick. So, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, it just depends on how tight you really want it. But, as you can see, the gap is more down here. So, yep. Like over here, man, look at that huge, huge gap. This one's gonna have to be just worked all the way around, but good to know that I can just do that real quick. Sweet, okay. Okay, so I mixed up the bond just in the cup, kind of did what I did with the top there. Just put my finger in there, and then I just kind of ran it like caulk. So you can see how that is going to harden up. And that's why I'm making this barrier right here. Definitely for it doesn't get, uh, you know, <laughs> bond these two together because then you'll never get it off. So same down here. So got a little barrier going all the way around. And this is going to be pretty close around here. So we're going to leave that. Um, on this side it's gonna be a little more difficult so I'm still gonna work with it see this this one's more tight down right there mine problems are just in this corner and maybe just a little yep just right at the top here so from here all the way around to there so down here I'm fine so that's about that's about where I want it. So, so we're gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna mesh that up. Kind of funny how this one it was thicker down at the bottom, looks good at the top, and then this one looks good down at the bottom and to this side, but more along this side and along there. So Okay, so then I was measuring up through this way too. It'll take two sticks thick going all the way up for it matches 
the length in there. So it's really, really close. And then see how thick this is in between here too. So this one on this side is lower. So I'll have to thicken up this, this ridge right through here. So, but we have to let this bottom part get dry first and work it. Okay, so after the next day, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a razor and you're just gonna slice along that wood and that way you separate your wood from that bond because this stuff is hard and you don't want to pull away from the hood itself. So we're gonna we're gonna take the razor, cut it away, and the this foil should be should stick a you know to the <clears throat> to the bond. So that way we can pull it out. So I'm just wanted to show you that that's the next step. Okay, then if it breaks off, what you're doing is you're you're taking that foil because the foil is going to stick to that and so you're just going to kind of pry in between to get that foil out and just come up through the edges and you know unleash it and get it get it undone so basically that's all you're doing so and then what you're going to do because there's a little lip now you're going to take some sandpaper and Sand it flat first before you open up the hood. All right. And the good thing about this bond, if you can get it early enough, you know, instead of letting it harden for 24 hours, I, I would suggest like overnight, like say, I don't know, 14 hours instead of 24. It's pretty easy to sand just that little area. You can kind of see how flat it's going compared to that. And so once I get that flat, then I can open it up and I can sand going along the bottom and make it flat that way. Same with down here. You can make it flat and then when I, I'll open up the headlights and sand around here to get that, you know, that smoother groove. Alright, so see how we closed up that gap? I still got to sand it nice and straight though and feeling a little bit right there but then I get to this side and it didn't adhere very well and it made me mad so I just took off from here all the way to there it actually adhered pretty good to right here but I cut it right there and I just yanked it off because this I mean that's solid it's not going anywhere that's that's what I mean but it didn't adhere to that so I'm gonna have to redo this little section here uh, but in the meantime with that So now I can start leveling off Through there I can take a little bit of bondo. I'm going to sand down more make it rough and Get down a little more to the fiberglass and then I'll bondo to where it's nice and flat Going both ways So it's more in the hood where the hood sinks. Well, of course the hoods up popped up just a little bit <clears throat> so Yeah, so we got to fix that so, darn it. Yeah, just as I was, so I was sanding and it, it got a, I don't know, just something, got something and just pulled it, pulled it out. So, it's all right. Just do it again, refix it. And uh, then, like I said, we have the Bondo through there anyway to make it all nice and smooth. And uh, then I'll work down on my headlights uh, a little bit later. I want to try and get the hood kind of leveled out first because this is this is pretty level, and you can adjust this up and down a little bit from the bottom. So if anything, I just got to fix, you know, right through here. And once I get this this old stuff out, then I'll put some more backing because look how still that fiberglass moves back and forth a little bit. I'm put re reinforcement down in there. So, I wonder if this side's... Ah, eh, that side's not as bad as this side. So, anyway. Okay, let's take another look. Now it's nice and flat going across. You can see how big of a gap I had there. I have to redo through here, but that's no big deal. I'm going to do this side later. So, now, pretty much pretty close match. I'm not going to mess with that anymore because it's probably as close as I'm going to get it. 
and we get just a little bit more of a little indent right there we can go back and fix that real quick but then it's just a nice straight line compared to what it used to look like so yikes <laughs> much better okay so we'll get our lines all and make sure when you're sanding everything your hood's all the way down so and doing all this because the hood is a pain in the ass to line up and adjust and get it to sit right so taking on and off the hood not a lot of fun but this is a very very much better line it'll look way better uh, down in here too these are a little bit thicker but much better i, I haven't really done anything here so it's just <clears throat> i just took this stuff out sanded it down just to get a rough sand but this one's getting almost to where I like this edge. So, so I need to fix, finish this, this little bit right here, because the rest looks good and it's nice and smooth. Going across, need a little bit high spot right there, but I'm not gonna worry about that because I'm gonna put in that uh, bond right in that area and going up anyway. But. So I just kind of wanted to get the general uh, height for that corner because this is set down low right in here. And then the rest, the rest is, see, I mean, nice and flat on this side. <clears throat> this side is where it's up high. So I'm going to have to do some work here and then it goes flat. You know, I mean, it's just aftermarket hood. Well, even the original hoods weren't weren't really worth a damn. Um, yeah, early days of fiberglass and you know, really no molds and stuff. So the stuff that these people produce now, the aftermarket stuff. I mean, if you pay high 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 quality, the fit is much better. But the hood might be perfect, but the body. It's going to be tweaked so there's going to be no perfect body part if you buy a brand new hood it's not going to fit exactly right never never ever it's just because unless you buy you know the whole front clip and the hood from the same vendor then you're probably going to get a pretty good fit but it, they always always take work always so you know, when you do do a go to an aftermarket hood and stuff, just be aware that that is one of the issues you're going to come across. And this is looking real good along this edge. So I think I'll just kind of leave that alone. I don't know. We'll see. We'll mess around with it. All right. So then once you get it close, then you can just run Bondo over the top and just take a little toothpick and separate it or your stick, whatever. So this is what I do, I just run a little toothpick along there, and that gives me my line. Same thing with down here. So when they get real close and you want that fine edge, it's hard to see on camera, but that's what you do. And then you just take, take a stick and put the sticky sandpaper on it and then you can just go up and down up and down you know and get all the corners so make sense maybe not i don't know you know what i mean that's what i everybody always says you say that too much you know what i mean <laughs> well, anyway almost a perfect straight line i mean it's as probably as close as i'm gonna get it so yeah, that's looking way better there. And, well, let's see here. Not the top yet. Let's just come down this way. We're still working on it. Go across there and right up to there. So now I just need to do the rest of the section. And then that gives me a nice straight 
darker, straighter line. Better, better than what it was. So I still got to sand this one a little bit more. But turned out good. That's that's going to be a huge improvement. <laughs> My gosh, that wind just started picking up like freaking crazy out there. So can't do much sanding in here because all of that just dust and of course all the leaves and everything from outside are just coming in through the garage. So I'm not going to do much sanding uh, anymore. And I'm, I'm done for the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my sticks and get this corner and do this. Uh, yeah, and do the, the headlight. That's all I can really do and just let it sit because, like I said, if I sand, and I don't know, can you hear it? Yeah, that wind's blowing like crazy. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna do that. That way the bonds can sit for a day and I can get that all fixed up, so. <laughs> Darn wind. So my whole day is pretty much ruined because of that. That's all right, though. Oh, and also, I came back along here, and I wanted this a little more sharp. It was a little more round than I liked it to be. So I'm going to sharpen that a little bit. But like I said, it's just it's the tiny little things that I'm, now that I got the major stuff on, it's the tiny little things that are driving me insane. So now I want to fix all the, the little, the crazy little things. Okay. Okay, so I'm going too thick, two little popsicle sticks thick, because this is in there just right on both sides. So I got a little bit of room, you know, to build up along the side here. So two sticks going all the way down. And it's one stick length up up front. But I know it'll be a little bit wider on the side, but I want that line to be as straight as possible because I don't know if you can see how it kind of goes in a little bit this way. So, and then if we got two sticks, say we could go two sticks and it goes all the way down to right there. That's where it starts building up. So that's where you can kind of see how it starts getting wider right there. So we're going to go along that line too and do it also. But first, before I do that, I need to sand along that groove, you know, on the hood there, get the groove down and uh, do the same thing uh, with this side. So, because I need to sand before, or I'm going to have another probably issue like this because I didn't sand very well throughout here so I'm gonna sand again really well through there all the way down to the end of the hood and that's just a very light sanding and then we can bond it so I just wrap sandpaper with the stick that stick goes down in there see easy quick sanding You get down to that fiberglass really fast. I should have done it when I had the hood open, but stupid me. Always doing it the hard way. <laughs> so, but then this will give me my line. Let's see, we're getting tighter right through there. You saw that? So see that hood comes out out this way just a little bit right through there because it gets caught right in there you can it's funny how you can feel it all right well I'm gonna do that for the rest of this way and I don't know we, we might measure this out up here and Give me the distance I need from here too. We'll see. We'll see. So let me let me get up to here first, and then 
and we'll see what we're doing going this way so okay so this one's done well not done but the the hard work's done and then just sanding around it getting all the you know get down to the, the nitty-gritty sanding on there this one turned out really good so I still got just a little bit right there I gotta fix look how that gap looks a lot more uniform and remember they got to open up so the gap is a little bit higher right here they would catch on these corners so I had to go a little bit bigger up on top but still much much better just some fine sanding now and we're just letting that do its thing this will be done hopefully tomorrow I'll try to wake up early in the morning where I can take my popsicle sticks out and uh, go from there so this one should be easier I should be able to take all these popsicle sticks out in one go well they're mixing sticks sorry and then sand it a little bit more on this so now it has that a lot more sh sharper curve So that looks much, much better. And I'm gonna do the same to this because it's just it's just a little more round than I'd like it to be. I mean it's okay. But yeah. Trying to get our gaps closed in. That'll look much, much better. My headlights turned out great, so now I just need to sand them down a little bit more, primer them, and these things are ready be ready to go. So, and just to let everybody know that, um, so I'm doing like all the major sanding and all the shaping first. Then I'm gonna hit it with like 220, and then 400, and then 800. So I still got a lot of sanding to do. I mean, Look how much, that's pretty much just all sandpaper <laughs> and a few other things. And, you know, that's, that's clear full. You, go, you will go through a lot of sandpaper. So don't try to just use one pad for everything. Anyway, we'll leave off right here. Thanks guys.